In this podcast, we talk about your nutrition strategy to get through the Christmas period so you don't have to start at square one like all the New Year's resolution losers. Welcome to the Rise Movement Podcast, a place where legends just like you learn how to raise your standards everywhere. Welcome to another episode of the Rise Movement Podcast. I'm Dave, and in this one, like I said, we're doing all about nutritional strategies to get through the Christmas period without putting weight on, without feeling too hungover, without starting back at square one and becoming one of those absolute losers doing New Year's resolutions. I put up a post a couple of days ago talking about that I'm boycotting New Year's resolutions. They are not happening. They are not flying with me whatsoever. If you want something bad enough, you will start at day dot right now. Remember that cliche saying, it's either one day or it's day one. Make your decisions count. Make sure that you're doing shit when you think about it, when you have that motivation instead of waiting for it, instead of putting time and space in between you and the thing that you want. Go get whatever you want right fucking now. Stop settling for less than you're worth. So we've got that part out of the way. I want you to start with meat, okay? It's no secret. Protein is the highest insatiation that you can have from any macronutrient. You need to make sure that you're getting about two grams per kilo of body weight. Okay, so if you're 100 kilos, let's use a nice round number. If you're 100 kilos of body weight, you need to be eating 200 grams of protein a day. Full stop, there you go. The simplest way to get this is space it out 50 grams a meal. Four meals, 50 grams a meal, you're done. You don't have to worry about anything else. Use protein powder to help it out. Use chicken breast, because chicken breast is really, really high in protein. It's about 30 grams of protein per 100 grams, but it's also lower in fat. The big thing that we're going to be talking about today with the podcast is getting through the Christmas period with all the overeating and the over drinking and everything else that goes on with it. You need to make sure that you're keeping yourself in check. Don't be fucking lazy is the bottom line of it. Be as disciplined as you can. Yes, indulge a little bit. Moderation is key. The biggest thing that I've learned throughout my 13 years of being a coach is moderation is the thing to life. You have to balance life. There's going to be times like we're in right now with the Christmas period where there's going to be alcohol flowing at Christmas parties. There's going to be excessive foods. Things are going to be high calories in nature and you've got to do your best to manage everything around you. Don't, you don't have to be one of those stereotypical bodybuilders like I used to be back in the day that took their chicken and broccoli fucking uh, takeaway containers to enter all these different functions and events and you outcast yourself. You put yourself by the wayside and then you make yourself that weird person amongst the group. Indulge, enjoy, but moderate it. Unless you've got a bodybuilding competition or a photo shoot or something like that coming up in the new year where you have to be really diligent with your diet, you've got to measure all the grams of each of the macros and all these sorts of things, enjoy. Sit back, relax. Doing Doing Christmas parties and uh, festivities and catching up with friends and family and stuff like that, enjoying a couple of glasses of wine or a couple of beers, it's not bad. It's not bad for you. Alcohol is horrible, yes. However, the benefits that you get from letting your hair down, taking some stress off your shoulders and being able to chill out once in a while is one of the best things that you can do. Whilst yes, with the rise movement, we talk about raising your standards everywhere, making sure that you know your straight and narrow path, you have purpose, you got meaning and all these sorts of things. You also need to balance life out. I've done a couple of episodes talking about how important self-care is. And honestly, Christmas parties, family functions, these sorts of things, they are self-care moments. You might not like the people that you're gonna be hanging around with. And if you have shit family, like I have a lot of shit family, don't spend a lot of time around them. Create boundaries, create strategies so that you have... Um, people that text you and say that you've got something come up so you can leave um, so that you don't have to hurt people's feelings and stuff like that. But you got to do what you got to do. I know what it's like to deal with shit family. I know what it's like to deal with shit workplaces and people that you don't gel with. You've got to do your best. I've spoken a bunch of times on the podcast about self-care. Self-care is so important. And going to Christmas events, going to Christmas parties, meeting new people, experiencing things, this is self-care for a lot of people. This is their time where they actually get to let their hair down, take the weight of the world off their shoulders, much like the logo of the Rise Movement, and take just take a time out. Take time to be able to allow yourself to decompress a little bit, have a few beers, enjoy some food, have a few cocktails, mingle, talk to people, fantastic. For those of us that hate Christmas parties like myself, I can't remember the last time I went to a Christmas party just because I just don't enjoy the small talk that happens. 
Um, I don't enjoy, oh, you know, how's your kids going and all blah, blah, blah. Like, no, fuck that. that. That shit annoys the hell out of me. So if you're like me in that sense, maybe you need to create strategies around having a friend text you to leave early or that you need to pick something up or whatever it is. Create that. And that doesn't have to be just at work Christmas parties. That can be at family events as well. Give yourself the ability and the boundaries to be able to leave on your terms. Self-care is really important at this time uh, of the year, especially if you're a little bit introverted or you're a little bit socially anxious. You need to protect your energy. You need to look after yourself. Don't sit around with shit family situations that you can't stand just because you feel like you're obligated to do so. Tolerate it for a moment, but also know your limits. I know that for myself, Christmas day, we're gonna be spending the day down at my grandmother's place down in Pottsville and it's gonna be a beautiful day. However, I'm going to hit my quota really quickly. I'm going to want to spend a bit of time, catch up with friends, catch up with family and do it on my terms. I'm not there to people please. I'm not there to make everyone else happy. I wanna see my grandmother, absolutely. But there's also some things that I don't wanna sit through. I don't wanna sit through my uncles getting drunk. I don't wanna sit through you know, boring squabbles. I don't wanna hear people's problems. That's not my life, that's not what I'm about. So I'm not going to enable that shit behavior and I'm going to put things in place so that Rach, myself and the kids, we're going to be able to up and leave when I deem it's necessary. When I've hit my quota, when the kids have hit their quota, we're gonna up, leave and go do whatever the hell we wanna do. There's nothing wrong with that. You have to determine what is acceptable for you when it comes to your self care. Now that I've parked that out of the way, let's get on to food for Christmas Day. Let's get on to food for uh, social events. I already spoke about this at the start of the podcast in terms of get protein in. Protein is the highest in satiation. But also, if you're gonna be having beers, if you're gonna be having cocktails and things like that, know that the amount of calories that inside of the alcohol that you're drinking and all the sugars and everything that goes into it as well, that has to be accounted for as well. The easiest way to get through this period is make sure you're doing very, very simple protein and fibrous carbohydrates. That's all that you need to do. The calories that are gonna be equated from, you know, say you go have 10 beers, there's about 100 calories in, in a beer, that's 1,000 calories. That 1,000 calories comes off your day's total. So you might wanna do an extra bit of cardio, go do some extra steps, an extra 5,000, 10,000 steps in your day to be able to give yourself a bit of a backlog in your budget so that you can afford to have those beers. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. It's up to you and what your standards are. If your standards are that you enjoy having a couple of beers and a couple of glasses of wine, power to you, but make sure you're balancing it. Make sure you're doing it from, not from a shadow place, make sure you're doing it from an intentional place. If you enjoy having a glass of wine, fantastic. Let that be a part of you, as long as it's not ruling your life and as long as it's not coming from shadow, as long as you're not creating a little victim scenario around your drinking. The biggest thing that I wanna get across from this podcast is do it on your own terms. You're the only one who raises your standards. You're the only one who knows where your standards sit. So if your standards are here, but drinking 37 beers over the next two weeks is down here, that's beneath you. You're here. You need to be able to make sure that you hold yourself to high standards because you're worth it. Ultimately, that's what it comes down to. Are you going to let your standards sip, slip and have those 37 beers? Or are you going to say, no, 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 I'm of high standards. I like my health. I love being able to wake up in the, in the morning and do whatever the fuck I want to do. I don't want to feel groggy. I don't want to feel hungover. I don't want to be able to uh, have my kids knocking on the door at five o'clock in the morning and being hung over and not being able to deal with them and getting snappy and requiring extra caffeine to get through the day because I feel seedy. No, if that's not up to your standards, it's not up to your standards. Don't let yourself slip. Hold yourself really high standards so that you can get through this period unscathed. And then you're not gonna be one of those losers in the new year that says, oh, new year, new me. I'm going to do new year's resolution. I'm gonna join the gym. I'm gonna do all these things. No, fuck that. Fuck that. There's no place in this world for New Year's resolutions anymore. If you want something, like I said at the start, do it now. It means something to you right now while you're motivated, while you've got that energy inside of you that's saying, hey, let's go do something. Let's take ourselves out into the outside world. Join a gym, start jujitsu. Granted, classes are getting limited right now. But anyway, you know, do whatever it is that you want to do right now. Stop waiting. And nutrition, protein, fibrous carbs, that's it. You know, think of it, steak salad. Chicken breast salad, uh, prawn cocktails, salad. (laughs) Like that's all you need to be worrying about. Get the protein in, get your fibrous vegetables in so that you can feel a little bit fuller for longer and then get on with your day. Enjoy a couple of beers, who cares? It's not the time to be able to, you know, fall off the wagon and get fat, become a lazy shit. It's the time to be able to balance. Life is about balance. It's the straight and narrow path in between the the yin yang symbol. That line in between the two, it's chaos and order, up and down, hot and cold. You need to be able to balance right in between, okay? 
That's all we've got for today. Um, it's a bit of a disjointed one. It is what it is. There's a few things that I wanted to talk about and they kind of like, kind of puzzle together, I guess. Anyway, it is what it is. Have an amazing time, guys. Much love, take care, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you for subscribing and leaving a review. It really helps us out. Until next time, take care and much love.